Hi, I'm Dustin Weiniger. Today, it's time for part three of my series on guns being used unrealistically in movies. And today's first example comes from the movie Back to the Future. This was pointed out to me by a viewer in a comment on part two of this series. Now, take a look at this clip of the character Doc Brown being shot by an AK-47. No! The viewer who mentioned that pointed out that it seems a little unrealistic that a simple vest of body armor could stop that many rounds of 7.62 by 39 millimeter at that range, and I tend to agree. But then again, just moments before that, we saw those bullets couldn't even penetrate the thin sides of a truck. Take a look. For the next two examples, I want to show how Hollywood sometimes shows ammunition throwing bodies around in very unrealistic ways. Now, a lot of times we hear this term, knockdown power, which in a lot of ways is a myth. Bullets can be devastating, especially from a you know, shotgun or something up close, as you're about to see, but not quite like this. Take a look at this shot from the movie Open Range. Now, I have seen shotguns hit some targets pretty hard, but I never thought I'd see a body thrown all the way across an alley into a wall like that. And if you saw the movie Django Unchained, you may remember this. Bye, Miss Laura. The next clip I want to show you comes from the movie The Hateful Eight, starring Kurt Russell and many other big names. And you're going to see a lot of gunfire in this clip happening inside of just one room. Now, back in the 1800s, when this movie supposedly takes place, the ammunition would have used black powder, which is pretty smoky. Now, for the number of shots that you're about to see fired, you almost wouldn't even be able to see in that room there should be so much smoke. But let's see if that's what happened. just doesn't seem to care or maybe just tends to forget that gunpowder back then was a lot different from gunpowder today and a lot smokier. Now for this final clip I'll be answering many requests. A lot of you have asked why have you not done any clips from the good, the bad, and the ugly yet? Well the truth is I actually haven't seen the good, the bad, and the ugly mainly just because... Uh, as I was saying I just haven't seen that movie yet and I know some of you may think less of me for that, but... Whoa, okay, everybody, everybody calm down. Calm down. I'll tell you what, if you put your guns down, I'll watch the good, the bad, and the ugly this week. But I did find a clip. But before I show you, put your guns down. Come on, I said put them down. All right. Anyway. Here's a clip from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Again, I haven't seen the movie, so maybe this would be better explained to me if I had, but what I noticed in that clip that I found, that's a cap and ball revolver complete with caps on the nipples, so if loaded with cap and ball, Yet the cartridges are in his belt for a reload. So what are those cartridges for? That's certainly not going to fit in his cap and ball revolver. Now I get that that looks good in a Hollywood movie, and I'll admit that sometimes when I've been dressed up around town in Old West stuff, I've done the same thing, worn a walker with 45 Colt loads, even though I don't have a 45 Colt conversion cylinder. But just another thing that Hollywood tends to get wrong. I hope you enjoyed these examples. I think I plan to keep this going. That's three episodes of it so far, and it's a lot of fun. Leave a comment, as I always say, if you have more examples you'd like to see me point out. And don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.